Hi everyone, Dr. Mindy here. Today is Friday, December 8th, and I am checking in about two and a half weeks post-op. So I'll actually be three weeks on Monday. Um, I don't think I've checked in at all this week, sorry about that, but I've been actually back to uh, work, uh, normal work and normal life. So it's been a little busy and I just haven't taken the time to do it, but I do wanna share a little bit about what my last week has looked like uh, today. It was either Tuesday or Wednesday, I can't recall for sure, when I mentioned to Paul in the morning that I felt like I'd really turned a corner. And what I meant by that, or what I mean by that, is you know, I've been feeling great this whole time. Um, I don't remember the last time I've taken any Tylenol or ibuprofen at all. But uh, it was, I think, Tuesday when I felt like I could really just walk flat-footed normally. And what I mean by that is I didn't feel like I wanted to put more weight on the outside of my foot or turn my foot uh, funny. I could just uh, put full uh, weight flat-footed, not walking through the front of my foot, but flat-footed without any difficulty. And I found myself being able to do that pretty easy up and down stairs uh, as well, very safely, uh, without feeling like I had to really hold on to the railing uh, for dear life and, and and balance myself. Uh, the other thing that I did is I got back in the gym on Wednesday. So uh, we have a home gym and I had been using my surgery as an excuse to uh, not do really anything physical, uh, which is not good uh, for any part of your recovery or life. So Wednesday morning, I got back down in the gym and I did a full upper body workout and I did a full, um, well, full for me, I don't like to do a lot of core, um, which I should do a lot more, um, but full core workout on the floor as well. So bicycles, crunches, um, um, did some planks on my knees, some knee push-ups as well. And then uh, for my upper body lifting, I just sat on the bench and did uh, kettlebells and, and free weights and got a great uh, workout in. So there's no excuse to really let your fitness goals slide uh, during your recovery. Yes, I'm restricted. I'm not doing anything lower body, uh, but again, can still do the upper body and core without any difficulty at all. And I felt much better too after uh, getting back in that uh, normal routine and a little uh, sweat and exercise on. Um, I am following the rest of the rules as far as uh, during clinic and when I'm up around to any significant extent, I have my boot on. We went to our first holiday event uh, last night, so I didn't get to put my cute cocktail dress on, but wore some uh, cute pants and shirt and, and my boot to that. Um, otherwise, if I'm home around the house, I'm just walking uh, flat-footed, uh, barefoot. Um, sometimes in the office, if I just have an admin day, which I do today, Friday, um, I just have my post-op shoe on because I am sitting on my butt pretty much the whole day. Um, so when I have to go to the bathroom or get up for whatever reason, again, just it's very limited and I'm doing that flat-footed walking. Um, that's nice because it just feels better to be able to move my ankle around uh, versus having it uh, held in a static position in the boot uh, all day long. Um, really important, again, I just want to reiterate and stre stress uh, the importance of an active recovery like I'm having. Um, I think I'm proof positive that our protocol works because I'm having very little pain, uh, very little swelling, a little bit of swelling still in the forefoot, but nothing to any extent. And I'm sitting a lot throughout the day without doing any elevating at all. So that's really my fault too, that I'm uh, getting the swelling. Uh, my compression stocking is definitely helping uh, with that and helping to maintain that to a certain extent extent. Um, I've been doing, still doing lots of range of motion of my ankle because it got a little irritated um, from walking in a funny position when I was barefoot holding the foot uh, kind of sideways. So just working on getting my ankle and tendons all functioning well again. Um, it's super important again that patients are up and around active because uh, if you're in a cast or in a boot all the time, day in and day out. Um, so many detrimental effects from muscle loss to uh, ankle pain to uh, your foot not feeling normal, not feeling like it's yours, uh, which can increase uh, pain and nerve sensitivity. So I'm excited to see uh, that our protocol that we use, um, I'm proof positive that it works. Um, and so excited to see where the next few weeks go. Um, I get my stitches out on Monday with my first post-op x-rays, so I will bring you guys along on the journey for that as well. Um, otherwise, I uh, plan this weekend to head uh, up to Fort Dodge for our grandson's uh, birthday party. 
and uh, just enjoy the weekend. So I will touch base on Monday. Uh, again, if you have any questions at all, please reach out via email, via messenger, uh, whatever it may be, because we would love to answer any questions uh, you have about an early uh, active recovery and the benefits of that.